welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a car tour showing my favorite features of the car um i've had the car now for a full week so i've kind of been figuring out my favorite features because this car comes with a lot like when i say a lot a lot honey so i'm about to go to the gym right now as you can see that's why i'm dressed like this i am wearing my ois sports they sent me over five different pieces when i get back to the house i'm going to show y'all them and try them on and everything um super cute i've been trying to go to the gym now like not every day but at least like three to five times a week um, i've been trying to do that a lot more because my body obviously i can see a change when i go to the gym <laughs> prince wants me to rub him so yeah this is one of the outfits they sent me super cute it has padding in the bra but i kept on my actual bra just for more support because yeah i need it <laughs> so i'm about to go to the gym and then once i leave the gym i may or may not pick up a um smoothie from tropical smoothie here lately they haven't been good i don't know if i'm just getting it too much and they just not make it like i'm just tired of it but the past few times i went it's been kind of watery like at the location that i go to but they just built a new one so i'm going to try that i want to see if it's any different so yeah i'm gonna start running my mouth takes me about 20 minutes to get to the gym it's 306 i'm about to go get a good workout in and then i'm gonna um like i said stop getting my smoothie and then i'm gonna do the car tour for you guys i'm gonna do the car tour before i get back to the house um yeah i'm gonna do the car tour before i get back okay to the house. so I'm at this little park that's kind of close to my house. Um, I just left the gym and everything. I had to go back home and get my camera. But um, I bagged in. This is my view. It's like a lake and a park and really, really cute. Anyways, hopefully my camera doesn't like get too heated. But before I do the car tour, I'm about to eat. Um, I just got Chick-fil-A. Let's see if I can set y'all up. Because, honey, I need a... see how does that look okay oh chad um i stopped getting i stopped getting the um i tried to do like good lighting i may have to move because this lighting is not giving what it's supposed to give this is like this is the lighting that i need right here this is what i need to give like I said, I just got back from the gym last month ago. I stopped getting Sprite from Mac, I mean Chick-fil-A because it just it just don't be giving what it's supposed to give anymore. Like it does not taste good. So I told myself I won't go eat in my car, but I mean at this point, can I really pick that up? No. So I'm about to enjoy my Chick-fil-A. Got an eight count meal, and then I'm gonna get back to y'all after I'm done eating. So for good lighting, I'm leaning over into the passenger side, but um, I'm about to start the car tour because I know a lot of people are wanting to see and I'm super super excited so I'm going to start with the tour outside of the car um, like the features and stuff outside and then just show you guys the outside so my car can literally get as cold as possible while I'm outside I'm going to crank it all the way up because obviously I got to keep it down low so you guys can hear me so yeah starting off obviously by the title obviously by the title you see that I have a um 2022 kia k5 it is the gt line with the red seats and i also have the premium package the premium package is like the upgraded version of just the regular gt line i put in a picture or something right here that like the form that was on the car to let you guys know what is included in the premium package so with just their standard gt like without the premium package i think this is different because my screen is so much bigger than the actual regular gt line and i think the outside is white if i'm not mistaken i don't know but you can check into that if you want to so yeah we're going to get right into the outside of the car and then i'll show you guys the inside there's like another person sitting inside their car <laughs> probably what the freak is this girl doing okay so this is my key fob i think i already showed that before it has one two three four five buttons obviously i just locked it that's how the lights look and to push the start you'll hold this down for three seconds and then she starts i did give her a name her name is diamond 
so the LED lights on the car stays on once it is started and I figured out how to pump my pumping it so you just put the key fob by the trunk and then it automatically comes up this is what's in my trunk some junk this is my gym stuff and I got to return both of those also haven't found any place well I couldn't I haven't found anyone put that on for me this is something I got to return and like this is my gym stuff and this is like emergency stuff that I just keep in a basket but it is pretty spacious it also has a tire up under this port right here so it has a tire and jack and whatever crap in there that you need this back to the side and then right here this is how you pull for if you need your seats to go back you just pull that on either side it's on both of them and this is the back of the car this is the new k5 logo right here as you can see what am i looking at i can't even tell what the hell i'm looking at because the sun so this right here is the camera obviously and then this right here is how you can also pop the trunk if you wanted to so if i push that the trunk pops coming around these are how the tires look i'm not a car guru type person <laughs> um, i'm also going to get my windows tinted whenever i find someone to do it and then this light also comes on my sensors for the cars if they're like in my blind spots are right here and then here's another look at the front and then to open the car i can do this hold that down or you can literally just unlock it so once i get in my name is right here I made it say my name it has the degrees it says that my phone is connected now right when I get in here shows the time and then you can customize your back screen if you want sorry it's showing me in the back so right here obviously you got the wheel the new k5 logo over here I haven't cleaned none of this off yet they literally gave me the car with this crap on here so I gotta figure out a way to get that off but um yeah this is your unlock lock so I'm gonna lock me in right here this is left and right so you can control your mirrors mine are good so i don't need to mess with that and then i got automatic roll down for the window this is how you lock them and as you can see it's not like a lock right here so since that light is on that's how you know that it's locked right here this is how you pop the trunk down there's the hood this is for me to stay in lanes um, what is it called lane assist so if i push this down right now you see that it'll pop up right there on the dash it's right there so then if my if i'm swerving the car literally pulls me back into the lane really crazy this lighting i guess is for i never used it so i guess it's for up in here yeah so oh this may be for my led lights honestly i really don't know what this is for but it's adjusting some type of light and then that is for like so you don't slide off the road i have this from five below and then moving up here on the dash this is how i control all my lights it was very confusing at first because i've never had this many lights like it'd be four different icons popped up there so over here this car does have bluetooth carplay every single thing you can think of so this i can talk obviously the carplay answer the phone hang it up this is how i turn up the volume on my music this is how i switch the switch the song mode I don't think I can use mode. Okay. Mode is some stuff I don't know about. Selected media can be assessed. Okay. Yeah, I guess I can customize crap that I want on here that I use the most. Don't got time for that. So this right here is controls up here. Come on. Hello. Focus. There we go. So that controls up here. You can have it on that. You can have it on this. You can have it on this while you're driving. Or you can have it on this, and I like to keep it on my miles per hour. Um, I got this car 
it zero miles well obviously they had to drive it like to get gas so i think it was like two or three miles on it but i got this car right off the truck brand spanking new so i already put 670 miles on it and then i have 331 miles to go and yeah all that crap up there and then over here get to the fun side got the radio don't listen to no radio let's turn that down so this is how it looks i didn't even know it looks like this because i never turned on radio but let's just go home so this is the home screen that pops up it has everything you can think of so this is the slide and then you got that one so you can go like that it doesn't matter i always just go to media and yeah so some of my favorite features that i found on here was if i if my airbags blow out it automatically calls the police so i really like that i don't know how to find it anymore but sounds of nature is also on here which is like really different so as you can hear it's playing like crickets and stuff in the forest this is calm sea waves rainy days so yeah a lot of a lot of, lot of different different stuff going on here um you got your map navigation menu and it was something on here that i wanted to show you i don't know but let me see so i just clicked a setup once you click setup you can do your user you can do your user profile you can do the display the sound you can do your um screen layout so go to the vehicle this car has so many different sensors so this kind of just gives you a little bit of insight on what's on here so it gives me a warning if i get too close to somebody i think i have a picture but right here if there's a car in front of me like let's say at the drive through or anywhere it'll say leading vehicle is like leaving or whatever so proceed so it has that if i get too close to somebody on the lane obviously my sensors will pop up and start beeping off um it's just it's just a very very <laughs> safety safety car that i really really love so any feature you can think of i got it it's on here if you want to see what it looks like in reverse this is what i see backing up it's pretty big and then if i wanted to i can change the view to see how close I am to this trash can right here so as you can see I can go back a little bit more but I like to keep it obviously on this one and then it always have the map and stuff over there also so yeah I can literally control the door the lights the climbing all of that jazz you can look into that if you really want to know down here is my climate control obviously dual climate control down here I have what I call like a cigarette lighter <laughs> down there and then this is a usb port and then this is just a charging port so this one if someone wanted to get in here and not connect to my like carplay or whatever they can literally put a charger in here the charger connects you to the bluetooth and carplay by that way this one is just a charging port so as you see it's just a little battery you literally just charge your phone right here so that's why i keep it on this one because obviously i'm already connected to the um carplay right here is the prindle <laughs> inside joke i also have these you probably already saw these in my other video me putting that in um right here is auto hold this is my parking brake and this is my drive mode and this i forgot what this is i don't even think you can push that okay so auto hold let's say you are in drive through drive through take it forever you don't want to shut your car off so i'm going to scoot up and i'm going to put my car in drive so I'm in drive. I'm going to push this auto hold. And as you see, auto hold comes up right there in green in the bottom right hand corner. And you see in the top left hand corner, it says D. So I am in drive. So my foot is on the brake down here. I'm going to remove my foot off the brake and it's holding me in place is what it's doing. So as you see, auto hold is on. I am in drive. I'm in drive and my feet are not on the freaking thingy so to take that off i believe you just push auto hold again or you literally just drive forward so i'm going to push my brake and do auto hold yeah so then it takes it off or you can literally just push your gas and go and then the parking brake you literally just pull it up it's just a little button and drive mode i'm going to show you that if you just turn it like a little knob 
it's going to show smart mode normal sport and custom so i stay in normal smart mode kind of just learns how you drive and then it kind of just like i want to say drive for you but it doesn't like drive for you it just it just it just it just remembers how you drive i honestly don't know how to explain it <laughs> but yeah keep mine in normal and that's that right here it's actually another place that you can charge your phone it actually you can slide your phone down in there mine doesn't work because i have a pop socket on it but you would literally just slide your phone down in there and i have a big case on so you slide your phone and your phone will start charging so keep in mind i have one two three charging ports already the armrest i just have random crap in there and then coming on this side this is like the stuff that came with the car my title and all kind of stuff like it comes with a lot and then this is a look at the driver's side i mean the passenger side um i got them and then why is it so dark okay so i'm trying to figure out this camera but this is a little bit brighter than what it was so i've already showed all of this stuff down there but yeah um this right here is my lights is literally not a button you just kind of tap over it or hover over it and then it literally turns on and off so hover over it and then hover back over it and it turns it off this right here is for my lights to come on with my door open or just to keep the lights on right here is information this is the uvo thingy that's associated with my car and then this is like roadside assistance and stuff that i can call right here is for the sunroof that i already have back i do have a panoramic sunroof that goes from the front all the way to the back okay i already got that part open so then to open the rest of it just push it and then it'll completely open up and then it also has this little like mesh thingy right here to protect or so the wind and stuff won't really come in i don't know how he explained it but yeah so this is the front seat i also have a trash can right here and then my purse is right there hooked on and then let's go to the back seat i just keep my keys right here where my phone is supposed to charge at And then this is my gas pump. The car has to be started and then it pops open like that. This is the back seat. This is my hospital bag that I take always to work. And then I have a clip on this side and a clip on that side for the front. And like I said, I got this car brand new. So it still kind of has some of the plastic on there. So take that off. This is also back here feel like that's very convenient this car has one two three four five six seven eight cup holders and remember i told y'all to remember about the charging ports there's two more charging ports back here so that's one two three four five ways you can charge your phone or anyone can charge their phone in this car and then this is back here i literally only have like a little cleaning supply thing this is for my window shield and this is what you see when you're looking in the back up to the front and it's like really really bright outside and I did some type of exposure or something and I don't know how to start it off and this is Prince new car seat everything I got will be linked down in my Amazon store okay so switching back to this lighting so you can actually see the front this is what you see. So the panoramic sunroof come all the way from the back goes to the front. This is the ooh, it's a bug in here. Back seat. See the front. And then that's where Prince be chilling at. So my favorite features of the car, if I haven't already said it, I don't know, is obviously the lane assist, it taking me back and forth, like putting me into the lane. My cruise control also makes my car drive by itself. Like I have cruise control and then it's this other button on the steering wheel. I don't know if I showed you guys or not. 
but obviously this is my cruise control so when i push that this automatically pops on so this is i guess like i call it will assist i don't know i tried to record a video but you can't really tell i was on the phone and i was on snapchat so it's kind of muted but once this is on the wheel like i was driving on the freeway and the freaking wheel started turning itself so <laughs> that's definitely one of my favorite features alongside of like i've never had a car do like the sensor stuff i came from a 2014 hyundai ascent it was literally i had bluetooth from carplay that's literally the only thing that i had so having these sensors in here is really nice um, my car is going to turn off in 25 minutes you can set it for an hour or 30 minutes so obviously mine is set for 30 minutes so right now it's going to turn off in 25 minutes um i love the push to start i've never had that before i never had a car that pumped the trunk i just love everything about the car but definitely my favorite feature was the car driving by itself and um what else it was something else that i like i like that i can just walk up to the trunk and it pops and really everything is my favorite but that's definitely top tier and i like that it'll call 911 if my airbags ever deployed or come out whatever you call it so yeah um, i'm about to go home i'm about to take a shower actually i'm gonna take prints out then i'm gonna take a shower and then i'm gonna try on the rest of my gym outfits from ois i'm very very excited to see how they look and which one i'm gonna be wearing tomorrow so yeah girl let me turn this lane assist off because sometimes that lane assist be getting on my nerves so yeah let's um drive it on back home so <laughs> hey y'all today is a new day um today is actually wednesday and I'm going to the gym again, obviously. So I have on another one of the OYS Sports Bow right there outfits. So this is one, this is one of many of my short sets. Um, I only got one pants set and all the rest of them are shorts. So this is how this one looks. These are the shorts, high waisted. Got the OYS Sports right there. I love this detailing on the side and these are a bit shorter than what I'm normally used to like some of my other ones are about right here in length but I mean these are fine um, really like these super cute super sporty okay and then obviously you guys see the top is the same it has that detailing right there and then the back I don't know if this one says oh that's what's mine okay yeah so this one doesn't have it on the back but the other ones do have it on the back so when i'm back from the gym shower and everything i'm gonna come and show the rest of the fits they're over here on the couch well i'm gonna come try them on for you guys but like this one's super cute super excited for that one so yeah let's get to the gym okay so this is the other set that i got it just has a lot of sports on the top cute cute sports bra very stretchy the padding is also able to come in and out and the back is super cute and then these shorts are just basically your plain seamless shorts has a lot of ois right here super cute This is the next set. I am in love with this blue color. Basically the same as the gray one, but this one is literally like a full shirt. I am not wearing a bra with this one, which never happens, but this literally holds the girls up perfectly. For reference, I am a 32 triple. So yeah, but these are super cute. Literally the same exact shorts, but just in blue. And then the top also super, super cute. This one, hands down, is my favorite. Get into it. OIS Sports right there. This cute design. And then this is super cute. It's actually like real holes in here. So, yeah. These are definitely my fave. It goes all the way around. And the shirt is also like that. This one, I'm also not wearing a bra. Hold the girls up perfectly. 
super 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 cute set and the rips goes throughout the back of this shirt also and it's also in the front so 10 out of 10 for this set definitely Bad man, turn up the vibe. 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 Bad man, turn up the